Hey guys, it's really hot out here today. This week it's been over 90 to 100 degrees here in Maryland. So the hens are feeling it. They're starting to pant more. You really got to make sure you get out and you got to make sure you're changing their water regularly. Make sure they have really cold um, watermelon or cucumber or cantaloupe to eat. And you just got to make sure you're cooling them down. Um, most chickens do not like to be sprayed off and many don't really go into water but sometimes you can put a small water bath in there and they can they'll walk in it with their feet but most of the time they will not but just make sure you're trying to cool them down the best that you can with cooler water and some kind of melon to eat so you can see girls are panting today it's a hot day they all have their mouths open a little bit Brought some uh, grains out for them, fill their belly for tonight, and some watermelon. This will really help cool them down. Kept it in the refrigerator. My Moran. Got a big bushy tail. I'm not sure. I've never had a Moran before, so I don't know. If, I think that's a hen. It's got a small comb, but. I think she is. We're hoping and praying. There's Queen Esther. She's panting. She has to have this really pretty um, gray tail feathers. They're going to come back in soon. What? What's all that about? Say hi. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> so put this little dirt bath here that they don't really use too much. They kind of use over there. So I'm going to try to take uh, this dirt, these rocks out of here. Which I've been trying to do. I need a better way to sift it. So, because I think they'll use it, but what? Say hello. I don't know if that's Whitney or Mary or Martha. I can't tell. One of them likes to come over to me. Should we let me pet her some? She likes it. Usually her t tail feathers or her. <laughs> uh, they're cooling themselves down with the watermelon. I got some fresh water for them here. I went to the um, tractor supply today, um, actually it was a local co-op, but they had a catchment for water system, but I'm not sure I like those. I guess if you have a lot of chickens it makes it easier, but um, it's been 90 plus degrees for a week. I imagine it's like drinking just warm water for them. That can't be good. I wouldn't like that. What are you doing there, girl? Hmm? What are you doing? Just saying hello? Well, say hi. Yeah, say hi. Got that uh, panting going on there. Yes, it's a little warm today. It's definitely like 90 plus a little bit of breeze. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? I 
got to figure out which one's Whitney, which one's Mary, and which one's Martha. I got to remember. I know the rest. That's Queen Esther and Emma, Gian. But these three here, I could never remember. Americana, Americana. I've heard it called both. They've been called both. This is really pretty too. <laughs> I don't know what these two wackos are doing behind me, but something. Yeah, Queen Esther, she likes to. Watermelon a lot. Can't wait till she gets her really pretty tail feathers back. I guess once they be past teenage, you know, 16 weeks, they drop a lot of their feathers and then they'll get them back and then they'll lose them around the fall time. So they can uh, get their winter plumage. So started working on the metal roof. Got that almost done. Almost. So These are my girls. Thankfully, it's cooling down a little bit tonight. Some fresh water and all, they should hopefully not pant so much. But. Say hi. That's the girls enjoying a hot summer day. I'm panting a little bit because it's hot. I'm gonna change their water so it's really, really nice and cold. I have well water here, so it gets pretty cold. So I'll do that and then. Should help cool them down with the watermelon and the water. It's starting to cool down some. Those big fluffy, big tail feathers. <laughs> the moran there kind of holds her tail feathers out. I don't know if that's natural. I know roosters do that, so, but that, I don't know, the comb is small and, I know our arcanas, they don't have very large combs at all, so I know these two are hens. But the black one there, she's starting to worry me, but like I said, her comb is very small, so, I don't know, what do you guys think? Anybody have, has raised this particular breed of hen. I don't know. I guess I'll find out in a couple more weeks. I'm thinking I'm thinking within three to four weeks they should be laying. We shall see. I will have that done. <laughs> I promised my hens yesterday that I would have that done. It's getting close. By the grace of God, I'll get it done soon. 
it's really just been really hot out and um, just humid humidity has been terrible and it's been raining a lot so it's been hard to work on it all right guys thanks for stopping by and seeing my hands and talking with me I'll talk again real soon God bless guys